Welcome to the IWS hand watering system. Hand watering your plants is still one of the easiest and cheapest ways to grow your plants. The misconception about hand watering is that you can hand water your plants and not have to bother with any science about how your plant likes to grow. Roots left sat in water will die and then rot. This will cause root disease in your plant and may kill them. A build up of salts will cause your plant's roots to block out and not take up any nutrients. The problem with most hand watering pots is they cannot be linked together and often leave your plants sat in water. Flushing your plants is almost impossible and collecting your runoff is also very hard. With the all new hand watering systems from IWS, all this is a thing of the past. The HWS is available in three pot sizes, 10.3 litre, 16 litre and a massive 25 litre pot system. For this movie we will use the 10.3 litre pots. Each outer pot has a 25mm hole drilled in the side for the ceiling band to be fixed into. Remove the nut and one of the washers and feed the gland thread through the hole in the bucket. The double washer will help to stop any leaks. Repeat this with all the outer buckets. Then set the pots out in the growing area with enough space for your plants to grow. Here we are showing you a 12 pot system using only two lines. The hand watering system can be made as large as you like and you can utilise all the six outlets on the control unit. Now take the IWS fittings and push the smooth part into the gland and tighten onto the fitting. There is no need to use a spanner as hand tight will suffice. Here you see that only two lines have connection fittings and the other lines are blocked off. Connect your pipe to the straights and tighten the glands onto the fittings. Connect all the buckets together using the T fittings and pipe. Use the elbow to act as a return on the end pot. Now place the inner pots with the eight drilled holes in the bottom into the outer buckets. These buckets are what you will fill with growing medium and grow your plant in. The outer pots hold a small amount of water in them, as would a normal saucer. All the pots are now connected to the control unit. On the back side of the control unit there is an outlet for your drain. Connect this to a suitable drain. We recommend that you add a thin layer of spreader mat and around an inch of pebble to each pot's bottom. This will stop loose material falling into the outer and will also aid drainage. Now top your buckets up with your growing medium of choice and you are ready to grow.